Hello, it's day four of my full shed dormer renovation. Um, the framing is mostly complete, um, but there was a discrepancy regarding uh, basically framing and sheathing. Like basically the total price was $18.50 and um, the draw schedule was the first, the first payment was $150 to build the support wall. Um, the second draw was $350 for demolition the third draw was four hundred fifty dollars for framing and sheathing um, the fifth draw was four hundred dollars for roofing um, and the fifth draw was another four hundred dollars for uh, siding and then another hundred fifty for uh, softened fascia that was actually bring up to eighteen fifty roughly and um, basically it rained last night and he left basically the two sides of the dorm were open the reason he did that the reason he did that is basically he didn't want to go up on the ladder or do the dormer. So basically he uh, left it open so he could shingle up the side of the, the gable easier. Um, so he didn't have to get up on the ladder. And as a result of that, water rained in my house. It was a thunderstorm last night and, and water rained into my house. So I get, you know, so far I gave him, um, so far I gave him $360 of the 550 for uh, framing and siding. I, I forgot the exact, I have to look at the contract, but basically the framing and siding is not done and he's gonna do roof and he's gonna come back to the framing and siding. I basically told him I'm not gonna give him any money today until that, that hole is closed up. Cause that's what I'm paying him to do. You know, the, the side of the house is open. So uh, I'm gonna do a walkthrough We'll do a walk through the house and um, to show you that the side of the house is exposed. Um, but overall, I mean, it's getting done. It's just, you know, I don't want to give him any more draws until the framing and siding is completely done. He wants to, he wants to go on to, to roofing. You know, he wants to go on to the next draw schedule, which is roofing when the framing and the siding is not done. Normally you do your framing and your siding first, then roofing. He wants to jump to roofing when the framing and siding is not done, just because it's easier to access the roof. I guess his thinking is it's easier to access the roof when that when the hole is open right there. But, I mean, I, if, I, you know, if this is not closed off by today, I'm gonna have to basically put some weather, some weather paper up there or something to close this off so there's no further damage. But, uh, I mean, it's done. I mean, the framing, other than this here, framing's pretty much done. I got my uh, lifetime um, uh, GAF Timberline charcoal dimensional shingles here. And what I'm using is, this is a 312 pitch, it ended up being a 312 pitch. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use Storm Guard. It's a really good product. And I, rec I recommend anybody that has a lower pitch roof, basically I think anybody that's doing a roof period should use it instead of the 15 pound felt. Or the 30 pound felt. The 30 pound felt, in my opinion, sucks. I mean, it'll work and it's okay. But this stuff is so much better. I mean. It, it's like 60 bucks for two squares, so it's pretty affordable. I mean, it's maybe double the price of 30 pound or something, but I think it's well worth it. You know, normally they'll do like one or two courses of the, the Storm Guard, and then they'll do 30 pound of felt the rest of the way up. You know, this is only a two, or, this roof is maybe like three squares, so I'm just going to do the Storm Guard the whole entire way. Um, just because it makes sense to do it that way. Plus, it's a lower pitch roof, and I have less chances for uh, problems doing that. But I just want to just document here that you know, the, you know, the framing and the siding is not is not closed off, and um, you know, there was some water that came in last night. You know, and if there's any legal, if there's any legal stuff that you know needs to take place you know i just want to show you that you, know, you made no attempt to close anything off you know you just 
you know, he, he just gives a shit about getting his heroin money or his drug money or his boxing money. He doesn't give a shit about me. You know, he just wants money. You know, so that's just with a low end project. When you're dealing with low end contractors, you have to deal with bullshit like this. You know, but I'm saving a lot of money. He's charging me eighteen fifty to do basically demo, framing, sheathing, roofing, and siding of this full shed dormer. I mean, if you were to call a company to do this, I mean, I could see them charging like I don't know. Freaking ten grand. Who knows what they would want to charge? But uh, all right. Thanks for this is uh, the middle of day four. All right. Thank you.